uppskjutet än höjdskräcken The Twin Towers of Liseberg. In 1996, Hangover was supposed to open to the public. But because of continuing problems with the state-of-the-art LSM lift system, this never happened. Liseberg was the least to say disappointed in Vekoma, the Dutch manufacturer of Hangover, and Liseberg was not afraid to show it. In fact, they showed it so much that Vekoma had to compensate Liseberg in some way. Hmm. How does one please an amusement park? Yeah, I got it. We give them another ride. Said and done, Liseberg was compensated with the for Europe unique attraction Uppskjutet. This is Coaster Stop, and today with a mini documentary of the Twin Towers of Liseberg. We're not really twins, but yeah, you get the point. Uppskjutet opened at Liseberg 17 of June 1996, and it's a freefall ride put upside down. Uppskjutet is manufactured by SNS Sports Power Inc., an American amusement ride manufacturer. Today the company is more known as SNS Sansei Technologies. The type of attraction is a tower ride. Original name is Space Shot. At the top of the ride it said Space Shot the first year of operation, but that probably had to do with the speed that this ride was built. In Uppskjutet you ride 12 riders at the same time. The speed is 17.9 meters per second. The tower height is 54.9 meters. Height the riders reach is 42.7 meters. After boarding your seat and the staff at the park did the final check, you were shot up into the air and gravity took over. Simple but very effective ride. Today this is honestly one of my favorite flat rides. As I mentioned, Uppskjutet was received as a compensation from Vekoma. To be able to gain some momentum from a new ride this summer, Uppskjutet had to get to Liseberg, and that fast. Special measures were taken, and to get the ride from the factory in USA to Liseberg, a Jumbo jet was chartered and Uppskjutet was flown over the Atlantic. In a little less than six days, a 60 meter tall tower was standing on top of the Liseberg mountain, waiting to excite guests. In 1998, a ride photo was added to the ride, which in pure Liseberg spirit was called Knep Up, or Buckle Up in English. But in this case, it's a play on words, Snap Up. Snap the picture and then up we go. I loved Uppskjutet and to this day I really miss the ride. Let's talk about the second tower, Höjdskräcken. Four years after Uppskjutet was added to Liseberg, it was time for the second tower of the mountain. In year 2000, Höjdskräcken opened. Höjdskräcken means fear of height. In a normal free fall ride, you are lifted to the top height, dropped, and then the gravity takes over. But not on this ride. I said that Uppskjutet is a free fall ride put upside down. But then how do you get off the ground in Uppskjutet then? Simple. It's a compressor that fills a cylinder with air, which then launches the riders up in the air. With that explained, I can simply explain Höjdskräcken. Höjdskräcken is Uppskjutet put upside down. Instead of dropping you at the top, the air cylinder is filled up again, but this time it shoots you down instead of up. This results in a faster than free fall drop to the ground, and I remember that there were cracks in the concrete under the ride to simulate how fast it will crash down. By the time Höjdskräcken was my favorite, but I was also young and cool. Yes, I did like it more than Uppskjutet. Today I am more afraid of drop towers though, so a slow ascent to the top is nothing for me. But shoot me up to the top and I am in. Höjdskräcken is a tower ride manufactured by SNS Power Inc. Or as I said today, SNS Sansai Technologies. 12 riders ride at the same time and the tower height is 60 meters. 
What made not only uppskjutet but also höjdskräcken more special was the view that you got on the top, where you were 100 meters above water level. And the view was fantastic. But all good things have an end and in 2015 it was the end of the fun for these both rides. After the season both uppskjutet and höjdskräcken was taken down. The biggest reason for this was of course the age and that they had reached a part of their life where bigger refurbishments was needed. To make these refurbishments the towers had to be taken down and sent away so Lisebergh took the decision to remove them instead of keeping them. Also the big hype and popularity of the rides was since long gone and there was another drop ride in the shape of atmosphere and really, do you need two drop towers in the same park? Uppskjutet made way for Aerospin and Höjdskräcken for a new playground and green area. Was it the right decision? In some way, and from Lisebergs point of view, yes it was. But in my opinion, it was not. I think it was a downgrade of the park, and the twin towers looked so cool on the mountain. Yes, the rides had lost their popularity, but they were still great, and I think that this area of the park was way better by then. But as most of you know, Lisebay have realized this too, and therefore we will see Luna Park in this area, which is taking shape right now, and we have so much hope for this being great. I know what you're waiting for. Do you want to know where Uppskjutet and Höjdskräcken is now? Of course you do. Just like Kanonen, they are in my backyard and I take a morning ride every day. Nah, that's not true, it's too cold in the morning. Uppskjutet and Höjdskräcken was actually sold and like many other mini documentaries here on Coaster Stop, the end is like a Disney movie. Höjdskräcken and Uppskjutet are alive and well. And if you would like to ride them, you can. If you're taller than 140 centimeters, that is. At Fabricus World, formerly known as Europark in France, you find two tall towers called King Tower, which opened in 2016, the year after they were removed from Lisebay. King Tower have two sides, the red and blue. The red one is Höjdskräcken and the blue one is Uppskjutet. Have you been to Fabricus World and ridden the King Towers? Did you know that these are the former rides from Lisebay? Leave a comment if you have or did know. Thank you so much for watching this video about the Twin Towers of Lisebay. This is Coaster Stop and take care until we see each other next time.